Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 75 of my Direwolf 21.18 Let's Play. Uh, today we're down here at the mob farm. I was making a few adjustments that Jake suggested. Uh, I got the uh, diamond chest swapped out for a sophisticated storage diamond chest mm -hmm. and I put a compacting upgrade in there um it's currently emptying the contents of this I guess I could kind of help it it's it's slow these guys don't have any upgrades in them at all so it's taken forever <laughs> forever and ever Uh, yeah, so I'm going to let these just empty themselves. Hopefully it doesn't take too terribly long. Uh, but I got uh, all of these things being compacted. And that's that's going to help a lot. And look at all this gold I got over here. Had it do all the gold nuggets. Uh, got an empty, an empty drawer. <laughs> Uh, and I got pockets full of gold, so I'm definitely going to nab that gold. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yes. I love that. I love that. We got a little bit of iron. Uh, definitely, I'm getting low on iron. Went mining uh, for some more, but still pretty low. Um... Yeah, I don't know what what is going on, but my uh, my quarry, my builder, just isn't getting. I'm getting lots and lots of copper. I got so much copper. I don't know what to do with all of it. Look at that, almost twenty thousand, but I only got three and a half thousand iron, which is no good. Oh, look at that. Look at my gold. That is good. Um, some changes. I did add a couple. Oops, I added a couple of drawers up here for andesite and tough because the quarry was spitting it all out up mm -hmm. here. Had too much. I think I might have to make one for diorite now too. Um. Yeah, so what I might do is I want to go check and make sure okay, the quarry is probably stopped since this is full. I even went mining for some iron. This is loading slowly. Yeah, it's not, it's not. Right. Um, what I usually do is I turn on the chunk borders. Uh, I will have to get these. Oh, you know what? Did I not ever? I thought I chunk loaded these. Well, I guess that is probably... But it, it, it actually finished. It's not doing the thing. And it's just going through it. I guess it's already been through there. Okay, so maybe I'll just make sure I chunk load this one. Do this, 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 and this. Maybe that will help. It's still, it's still got full power. What I have to do with this every time I log in, I have to tell it to output. But I don't think, I don't think that's doing anything. 
current level. Yeah, I think it's already done all this, so I think I'll just go ahead and pick it up and move it over to here. Boop. I've had quite an adventure with this. Uh, <laughs> I'm always forgetting to do something. Okay. You should already be set up. Restart. Go. All right. Now it's set. Now would be the time to make sure I unload those. Whoa, that was super loud. That's what I keep doing. I keep forgetting. Um, now we're going to get completely backlogged with a bunch of stuff. Oh, forgot. Um, the bad thing is I don't have enough power to do a quarry and my machines. <laughs> like when this starts running and processing stuff, uh, if I try to do something upstairs, there's just there's no power left. Uh, so running the quarry and this setup is like <laughs> enough for my my little system. Anything else is just like, eh, I don't know. See how quickly it's draining. That builder will chew, it'll do it as fast as you can beat it power. So if you have like a gazillion power, it'll just go through it really quick and, and use up all your power. So... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, look, there's hardly any iron at all. Look at all the copper. I just keep getting copper and copper. Now, <laughs> what would be cool is if there was uh, a way to turn all that copper into iron. I would definitely do that. Uh, but today, I, I've been putting this off because there are so many cool things that I want to do. I... I don't know which to do first. Is this why? Why you no stack? Oh, okay. That's sad. Okay. Um. Let's get a few moves in there. Look at all this stuff. It's all full. I need more room, and that's what. I'm going to do today is to help alleviate this problem with space. Uh, I want to get into refined storage and and get that set up. Uh, also, this is <laughs> to remind me about the uh, advanced compacting upgrade, which I already talked about. So I put some of the things we're going to need. Some of these things are just for ease of use they're not really necessary like the crafting monitor the crafting manager and the pattern grid uh, well the pattern grid technically is necessary but that's for automating stuff it's not necessary to store stuff uh, uh, so we're gonna need these things and i got some of these things prepared uh, a little bit <laughs> I made four stacks of the processor binding, which is just some string and uh, slime balls, uh, which we have plenty of. We got string, we got slime balls, so that was no big deal at all. Uh, the silicon. I have plans for the silicon because um, the only way to get the silicon is to... Uh, smelt certus quartz or nether quartz well i just went mining in the nether and i got a lot i got a lot of nether quartz but i don't have infinite nether quartz. oh my goodness look at all this stuff already
yeah, see, I have to I have to do something about this because I'm constantly checking these chests to see if they're full, to see what I need to do to keep them from getting full, <laughs> to manage them and get them organized in a way that I like. Uh, I still have all this stuff on me for the wither skeleton. We're going to still want to do that, but I need to do this because it's driving me crazy not having some digital storage going. But, uh, yeah, I don't really want to have to go back to the nether and mine for a whole lot just to get some nether quartz to make silicon so my plan was since there is now industrial foregoing in the mod pack that we can make silicon with the material stonework factory and it's super simple you just feed it cobblestone and it turns cobblestone into silicon because it crushes it it uh crushes the cobble into gravel the gravel into sand and then I know before if you cooked no I don't know but if you crush it again if you crush the sand again apparently you get silicon so that's what I want to do just have that material stonework factory going producing silicon uh, so that's my solution for that uh, and then some quartz enriched iron which is just three iron and quartz uh so i did four stacks of that no big deal but that should help us get us the basic stuff uh of course if we're having power problems i don't know that uh <laughs> adding digital network to it is going to be good so what i might want to do is just come up here and kind of shut off quarry for a while just it's not going to send it over there um just to store up some energy for the system yes i will get to you <laughs> i will get to you eventually uh, so let's do this well we probably won't need all of those so let's grab like probably all the iron some glass some redstone uh, maybe some gold, some quartz. I'm trying to think what else. Maybe some iron and the silicon. Oh, maybe some diamonds too. Maybe some wood. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just guessing. Uh, I haven't really looked at all the recipes. So we'll, oh yeah, I already did all of the combines for this. So it's all ready over here, ready to go to get a material stonework factory. And I will hook that up in between episodes and just let it sit there running in the background. Um, I do, there is a cobble generator. I made one. Uh, there's also the thermal series cobble gin i think it's igneous igneous extruder uh that will also produce cobble um i'm not sure if the thermal series one takes power or not but i know this one doesn't so we'll probably just do this one because it's a real simple recipe and the thermal one it will take like a lot more I think yes yeah it'll take in bar and and this this one's just really easy just some cobble and glass and buckets uh, with lava and water so yeah that's it. I'm gonna do that awesome also I tried putting a, a work a tinkers workbench here and, and it kept seeing this chest instead of this one. So if I didn't have this chest here, it would totally work. Uh, but it's it's not working because I need this chest to be the one to be seen. And I didn't feel like messing with it. So 
I just want to do the uh, the digital storage. But yeah, I also did up like I went ahead and smelted four stacks of silicon too. So they put another stack in there. I think it goes to industrial contraptions. So it just got sorted into the industrial contraptions chest and it's keeping me a stack in there. It's stocking it for me. I didn't do the other ones yet. The the quartz enriched iron or the process binding. I just figured I'd throw those in there. So let's get to it. Um, we can go ahead and take that away and that and of course we'll need a disk drive for refined storage. Uh, I think I have some chests in my bag. Yes, that is good. Uh, so we got a chest, we need an advanced processor. This is a little bit different than the technique to make processors in applied energistics, which applied energistics, you need the stamps and you have to use a machine to make it. Whereas this one is just, you, you make it and then you cook it. Uh, so uh, it's a little bit easier like this. I don't really mind the other machine recipes in AE2. It's just, this is simpler to me and it makes sense. So we need one of these guys. Boop. Um, I don't think we have a refined storage place. So it should just come here. Sweet. Actually kind of perfect. Um, where were we? We need a machine casing, which isn't but just any stone. Okay, I did not get stone out, so let's grab some stone. Will it go? Aha! Machine casing. And now we can do the disk drive. Disk drive. Yeah, that's going to store all of our disks. And hopefully we'll have some big fat ones. I do prefer the storage system to refine storage over AE2 because I don't like the way AE2 limits your items per disk. So based on the size of your disk, it also limits how many items you can store, how many different items. So if you just have one item on the disk then you can use up all of the space on the disk but if you get a lot of different items on there it will no longer hold any more different items so you're stuck with just that few and you might not even have a whole lot of space being used up on this disk but you have many different items so it's full <laughs> which which to me doesn't make sense uh, but yeah, so we got our disk drive. Um, we'll hold off on the these three and go right to the controller and the crafting grid because that's going to be other things that we need. Oh, we need another advanced processor and another machine casing. So let's go ahead and make that. Oh, we need sleep. It's a perfect time to get a sip in. See, I'm saving so many steps. Uh, I'm not having to go back and forth. All right, now controller. Yes, we got it. Find storage and the crafting grid. Of course, we're going to need a disc, and I didn't think to put a disc up there, but we're going to have to have a disc to get storage going. Uh, of course, we need another advanced processor. I guess I should have looked at this uh, ahead of time, and I could have made all three at once. 
So we need a crafting table, which is no big deal. And then the grid. So we are going to need another machine casing and a bunch of different processors. Um, this is actually the improved processor, which is made from gold. And these are construction and destruction cores uh, and just some glass. So let's go ahead and make our machine casing. Um, let's see, destruction core. Oh, so we're going to need two basic processors. Uh oh, needed two because we're going to need the other one, and the other one takes two. And then we're going to need two of these guys. <laughs> I didn't want all of that, but okay. <laughs> I do like it that this machine is so honking fast, <laughs> like it's literally done by the time I get back to the chest. Okay, uh, so that should be, oh, oh, that's right. We got to make uh, the construction core. I need a glowstone and a quartz. Mm -hmm. that I mean? Oh, I already have quartz. Let's throw one of those in there. And I do have a glowstone. Just need one. Where's my, yep. Yeah there and there that and that okay that should be everything oh man um zoink yay and zoink we got our three basic items that we need but we still need one more thing and that's a disc to put in there uh, so let's look at find. Um, we got a 4K, a 1K, 16K, and 64K. Um, I guess we can just do the 1K. Oh, look at that. We got it already. Um, that was so super easy that why don't we just start off with a 4K, which is just three of those. So all we need to do is boop, do this, do one. Does those stack? Yes, three. And then 4K. Uh, oh, we need four basic processors. Not a problem. Uh, why didn't I just do this? All right. Making mm -hmm. progress. Making progress. <laughs> it's so funny that it's ready. It's ready. Look at that. Okay. 4K storage part. And, oh, sweet. Uh, 4,000 doesn't sound like a whole lot, but uh, it it is when it's like little bits like this and this. I could, you know, upgrade all of these nuggets into uh, bars and that will take up a lot less room. I just have them like this because this is how I get them as nuggets. Uh, and I use quite a bit of gold nuggets, so I just keep them that way. Let's keep them that way. And I had to make some pink slime for the material stonework factory. Uh, so it only took 300 millibuckets of pink slime juice to make one. So I went ahead and did a whole bucket and I have a couple of extra. So yeah. All right, let's make a 4K storage disk. Uh -oh. Now, I want to upgrade to like a 16 and a 64. I think um, there's even, um, 
another mod in here reborn storage which is the advanced part of refined storage so it's going to have like a lot bigger uh discs to store stuff on like it has a 16 gig storage 16 gig so that is awesome uh we'll be able to get 16 gig of storage on one single disc and it will be awesome and amazing so where are we going to set this up at we got all our stuff i would like to just have it right here um so why don't we do this take away a crafting table don't really have any power over here all my power is right there um i guess i could get one of the batteries that i have the extra ones but they only have like a million rf in them that can upgrade it i guess uh until I can, because I need more power too. I need to do that. I need to deal with the power and get uh, my storage system going. <laughs> uh, just so I can, you know, do stuff. So let's put this guy down. Put down uh, the controller. Is he getting, oh, I guess I should tell this to output at the top. Now he's getting powered. Um, then, of course, we need you and you. And then if we throw in our disk drive, we now have space. <laughs> Yay. So I can put this stuff in here that I've been holding and and make things from it without having to why didn't it use my oh that crafting table just got picked up that's right nice now how fast is that training um not not too shabby uh but i definitely want to get him upgraded so First of all, I guess, uh-oh, I did the thing. Um, let's, I guess, uh, take out our stocking cards so that it won't, it won't keep putting stuff in here. And that's all empty. All right, so now we can empty out the contents of this chest. And this is most of the stuff that I use normally uh so let me put this stuff away and a boop make it a little bit easier soink this is the most this is like all the stuff <laughs> that i use to craft with oh this is gonna be so nice i don't even know is this gonna like max out my disc already I hope not oh I like it I like it I like it how are we doing it's already it's 3,500. Yeah, I definitely need to get these other uh, things like the disc manipulator. Oh, wait, I didn't get the disc manipulator. Uh, that will help when you're transferring stuff from one disc to another so that you can get all the stuff off of it and upgrade your smaller ones into larger discs. Uh, so that's definitely going to be something that we need. But these will be a lot easier to make now that we have uh, our refined storage system going. <laughs> oh, 
awesome. I'm so happy. Uh, now we can, like, just get rid of this chest. Um, this, I find that you can't pick it up with you have a shield. So, I guess I'll put that there. Um, our chest, or our disc is almost full, so I'm going to hold off on putting all of that stuff in there. Awesome. Okay, so let's add the disc manipulator. Later. Yes. Let's get that too. A pattern grid. Yeah, this is going to be great for once we can start auto crafting. And auto crafting is pretty easy in fine storage because uh, you just make the what is it? Uh, ah, the crafter. You make the crafter, um, and then you can store your patterns in the crafter, and the crafter will use that pattern to auto craft if you ask for something, or you can have it uh, set it up to where it will keep. It will stock you with a certain amount of items. You can use detectors, which are pretty awesome, to uh, emit a redstone signal when a certain item is at a certain level or below a certain level or above a certain level or right at a certain level. <laughs> it's great. I love refined storage crafting, and uh, it's, it's pretty pretty powerful in my opinion it's it's very powerful but definitely worth the the time invested to to get to that point because it is a lot of materials once you get down to it uh to to do all the stuff see look at this crafter uh and you'll need lots of these because these only hold so many patterns uh so but i did see uh in the reborn that it looks like you might be able to make a AE2 type multi-block structure for to store all your crafting recipes which would be awesome I mean <laughs> look at this crafting storage crafting CPU so you could speed up your crafting uh, I remember the good old, that was one of the things I really liked about AE2 was being able to build this really big crafting unit uh, to store all your auto crafting and stuff. And and I really like that this is in there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy that. And there is a book of reborn storage. That is pretty cool. What is this, a raw super advanced processor? What? It takes a netherite ingot? What? Super advanced processor. What is this used in? A super wireless grid? What is that? A hundred thousand FE? I see, I don't know what the difference is on these uh, between the normal ones. Uh, it looks like it's it takes a wireless grid to do it. So, but that's just a grid. It's not a crafting grid. So all you could do is look at it and maybe pull things out of your system or put things into your system. Um, can't really like craft on with it. So I don't know, but anyway, let's get, uh, you know what, let's get like another 4K because um, you need three 4Ks to make a 16K. So that, that was you know, pretty easy. So I think we should be able to do 
Let's do, we got 1K, a 4K, a 16K, a 64K. I would definitely appreciate a 16K. If we could get to a 16K, uh, it's just improved processors four improved processors so let's do this uh two three four we can go get those taken care of oh they're not oh yeah so that 16k and then three 4ks i want to leave the stuff on my current 4k and just make three new ones. Uh, so let's make, so we're gonna need 12 of these basic processors. That's no big deal. <laughs> Is it gonna take it a second? Oh, yes. Still, it's not too bad. Make 12. That's pretty that was pretty decent. Okay, so got that. Got those processors. We got this stuff. So we need three 4Ks, which we just made those, and we got this stuff. So now we need uh nine. Do we need nine? Yes, we need nine 1K storage parts. That should be enough. Uh, so we should be able to do the 4K. Yay! And a 16K. Oh, we're missing. There we go. 16K storage part. And use this one. Ah! Oh. See, that wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad at all. We got tons more storage now. Uh, now we can put this as like the primary one, so everything will get stored on here. Um, so I think what I want to do is get that disk manipulator and do that. So what does it take? doesn't take hardly anything at all. A destruction core and a construction core. So we need a couple more of these. Oh, I'm not, I'm not actually in the thing. Whoopsie. Oh boy. I can see automations in my future. Um, may may relocate this i don't know i've been here in this corner but i have three stories on this this building <laughs> so i don't know it might be kind of cool to be able to come up here and and access my stuff and and come out here and look around <laughs> and enjoy the view instead of looking at the wall so i don't know i don't let me think about it. Think about it. Oh yeah, <laughs> gotta get these guys. Uh, so we need a construction core and a destruction core. There we go. And two storage housings. And a machine. Casing. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. There's our disk manipulator. Uh, so whoop. now I think we can take this disk off. We can put it up here and then it will pull things out slowly because we don't have any upgrades over here. Uh, but it'll slowly take the, that out and store it 
in this disk. So you can see it's getting filled up uh, and that'll take some time. But there are upgrades that you can put. You can put a speed upgrade and these aren't really, you know, anything major. So we might go ahead and make some of those, uh, except that all our stuff, <laughs> all our stuff is on that disk. Um, let's see, do we have, what does it take to do, it just takes like a, an upgrade, which is an improved processor. So I think these only stack to one, uh, so, oops, I just looked at the time. Oh yeah, we don't have enough. Uh, I will like let this run in between episodes and uh, start trying to upgrade and get more discs and bigger discs <laughs> and see see about clearing up all of these tests so that we can get room for more more yummy automations. well yep so anyway thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the episode and we'll see you next time bye, -bye.